Obviously, a whole bunch of different options when it comes to deploying stuff into, um, you know, into data centers. Yeah. One is just putting stuff onto a bunch of servers, you know, fixed uh, workloads on there. Mm. Similarly, though, the stuff that we're interested in working with customers is the hybrid and private cloud strategies. So, you know, customers who are used to using AWS, what we yep. want to be able to offer them is the ability for them to have a similar experience, but on their own infrastructure, on their own hardware, in you know, effectively in their own Within data center. Within the data center, yeah. Oh, yeah. And they can come down, they can see the servers, because, you know, it's, um, at the, it's their, it's their it's, hardware. It's physically so they there, They can come, yeah. come and yeah. observe the security measures that are in place. They yeah. can understand how it all works. Um, you know, but certainly for companies who currently deploy stuff into, into the public cloud, a hybrid cloud strategy for times where they've got long running workloads, yeah. um, you know, some of the stuff that we do with research organizations, they spin the servers up and they have them running for years, three, four, five year projects. Yeah. Running that in AWS when they're pretty static doesn't seem like a great way of being able to, um, you know, to spend money effectively. Sure. So having a hybrid cloud strategy where, you know, researchers who want short run, short um, runtime servers can spin stuff up in AWS, but then mm. have the same connectivity, the same services, and access to the same data that they do in their private cloud server um, and server in infrastructure certainly seems to be a good way of of spreading the load and also, you know, just keeping track of your costs.